All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and foremost, as always, I want to say, call my la, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And then Shalom to your Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Okay, so I want to do a quick lesson on the topic of prayer. You know, and our prayers being as incense, you know, uh, being, you know, uh, sent up to Yahweh Shema Shai as, you know, a spiritual sacrifice, you know, which prayer, it is a sacrifice, you know, it's, 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 it's a, a sacrifice of our lips, you know. And real quick, uh, let me just snag this real quick. This is, uh, this is the book of Hebrews. Um, Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 15, and it says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. Right? So us, you know, praising Yahweh by Shema Shai, that is likened unto, you know, a, 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 a verbal sacrifice, if you will. You know, if you get what I mean. You know, the, 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 the sacrifice that we make, you know, um, the form of prayer, you see, and it says that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name, right? To his name, giving thanks to his name, which is Yahweh Bashim al Shai, his true name, okay? Because, because, uh, you know, uh, you know, the world thinks that you know, God's name is just God, and you know, the the, the, the son's name is, is, is Jesus Christ, which is that's that's those are false names. Those are those are wrong names, and you have Israelite camps that call upon Christ, and which you know they're off. You see, they, they don't even call upon you know uh, uh, you know uh, Yahweh Shai first, uh, first off and foremost. They, they don't do that at all, right? But they say Christ, but those are his names. His name is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so us praying those names, that's power, man. You know that that's very powerful. You see, and also too it says that. Uh, no, uh, uh, whatever is, let me just get it real quick. The Sirach, uh, the prologue of the wisdom of Sirach is the first chapter in the uh, middle of the paragraph. It says, wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us where any we may seem to come short of some words, which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue. Have not this have not the same force in them, so it makes sense why the, the Lord's name would be in Hebrew because Hebrew is the Lashman Kodash, a holy tongue, a pure language. So it makes sense that why the Lord's name would be in Hebrew because it's it's a pure name. All right, it's the true name. Okay, the Hebrew a language is the most powerful language. It's the language of the heavens, right? So when we pray in the Lord's name. You know, you know, and the last one could dash, you know, uh, now, of course, you can pray in English, you know, but when, when we call upon that name, the Lord's name, best believe that the Lord is, is, is hearing us. The Lord is, 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 is listening to us. The Lord is uh, answering our prayers. OK, because our prayers, you know, is, is, is being uh, sent forth as incense, you know, as you know, as as the uh, as uh as, as a, a a sacrifice, right? And that's why when you go back to the book of Hebrews, let me just get this, this uh, real quick one more time. Hebrews 13 and 15, it says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. You see? So we doing that, and that's as incense, right? So so this is so prayer is a form of spiritual power, you know. Because our prayers are being heard and they're being answered, you know, they're being, you know, brought forth to the most high. OK, before the throne. OK. This is Psalms. Real quick. Psalms 141 and verse two, and it says, let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. OK. As incense. You know, at, you know, as you know, as a, you know, a, a beautiful, savory smell of a frankincense. 
of cinnamon, you know? That's what our prayers are likened unto as incense. And it says, and the, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice, okay? So the, the prayers that, the prayers that, you know, are being, you know, uh, being uh, brought forth, you know, before the throne, you know, to, you know, to Yahweh Shemal Shai, okay? They're, they're, um, they're uh, uh, being set forth as uh, um, as incense, something that is pleasing to Yahweh Shemal Shai, you know, the right incense, you know, you know, uh, like uh, like frankincense, for example, you know, a frankincense is one of, you know, the uh, incense that the Lord prefers, you know, and us calling upon the names of Yahweh Shemal Shai, you know, the true names, of course, you know, the, uh, the, the Lord wants us to do that. The Lord wants us to call upon his name, you know, serve him. You know, uh, 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 be fearful of him. That's why we praise his name because we are we we are, we are you know, being humble servants and 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 having faith and fear in his name. Okay, being fearful of Yahweh Shmuel Shai while having faith in Yahweh Shmuel Shai. Okay, so let's head from there and go to Revelation chapter eight. Uh, Revelation eight and verse three. Okay. And it says, and another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints. So our prayers are being offered. OK, along with incense. OK, and, you no, know, and in, 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 uh, in heaven right now, in the spiritual realm, where, where you have by Shmuel Shai, you know, is that right now. Right. And it says. That he should offer it with the prayers of all saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Okay. Ultimately, the elect. Because the elect are the, are the only ones, you know, that's truly, you know, calling upon the Yahweh Shah. You know, the elect, right? The believers. The sincere. And it says, the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. So our prayers are being presented are being presented to Yahweh Shah. OK, by angels. And it says, and the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before the most high out of the angels hand. So our prayers, so our prayers are literally being taken up to Yahweh Shemal Shai. OK, so once you send them that prayer, that prayer is, is being transferred. OK, from what you just said here on earth up to the heavens and prove that. Okay, let's go to Tobit. This is Tobit. Um, let's see. Uh, where is it at? Tobit 12 and verse 15. Now I was going to say who that angel is. Okay, now in Revelation 8 from verse 3 to verse 4, it said that an angel was doing this, right? Now, Tobit, it tells you, you know, what angel, you know, that presents our prayers to, you know, how about Shemal Shai? So this is right to the point. This is Tobit 12 and verse 15. And it says, I am Raphael. And the word, the name Raphael, um, um, I believe in Hebrew, uh, is translated is translated into a uh, repayim, which means uh, uh, healings. OK, so it says, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints. And which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One, right? In Revelation 8, we just read it. It said that the angel of the Lord presents the prayers, you know, before the throne, you know, you know, uh, um, the, the prayers of the saints, you know, before the throne. Okay, what throne? You know, the, the Most High throne. How about Shemal Shai? You see? So our prayers are definitely being heard, man. Okay, because the, the, the scriptures say that the prayer of the humble it appears to clouds. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Um, prayer of the humble. Yep. This is uh, Sirach 35 and verse 17. And it says, the prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds. Until it come nigh, he would not be comforted and would not depart to the most high shall behold the, ju the judge righteously and execute judgment. You see, so the point is, that our prayers, you know, are being um, acknowledged. Okay, they're being they're, they're being acknowledged, and that's why having this name is so important. Because in the times of trouble, 
you know, a lot of people out here, especially our people, you know, two third Jakes, two third Israelites, you know, they're going to be, you know, uh, they're going to be, you know, left, you know, left for dead because because they don't have the name. You see, that's why in Jeremiah says, you know, uh, don't don't cry for them. Don't pray for them. You know, tell them to. It says uh, uh, the most high said uh, uh, the, the most high told Jake to, uh, you know, go cry unto the gods that they have chosen. You know, so in the time of trouble, you know, don't don't call upon me, you know, call upon, you know, uh, Jesus, call upon Yahweh, you know, call upon Christ. You see, and and and, and on top of that, too, a lot of Israelites that know that the Israelites are, are in his truth, they call upon different names. You see. They call upon Christ, man. That's not the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? And when you think of that name, you think of a white man. Says Bray Bourgier, right? So a lot of Jakes that's, that are even in the truth, they're going to be asked out too because, because they're not calling upon the name. You see? And what do you read early in Hebrews? In Hebrews, uh, uh, I'll get it again. Hebrews 13 and 15. It says, But by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise, to the most high continually okay and and, and what do it say the, uh, uh says uh pray without ceasing right it says that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name okay his name okay so a lot of Israelites you know they're going to be confounded out here because right now you know they're calling upon Christ you know because things are sweet things aren't that bitter but when things get bitter you know shit the fan they're gonna, they're gonna try to call upon Yahweh by Shema Shai, but guess what? The Lord is not gonna hear them because you know this whole time they haven't been sincere. But but when things arise and when you know and when afflictions arise, now you want to switch up? No, keep that same energy, man. That's why we know who we worship, and that's Yahweh by Shema Shai. That that's why we give the sacrifice of praise and our praise and our, our praises that we you know our praise our prayers. Is being is being uh, is likened unto a, a, a beautiful incense, you know, that's being presented in the heavens along with our prayers, man. You see, this is the book of Acts, four and verse twelve. It says, "Neither is there salvation salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved." You see, so. The only name that you that you're supposed to believe in and call upon is Yahweh Bahashim Shai. You see, and you had this wicked ass nigga, you know, a uh, uh, deacon uh, uh, ASAP from IYC. He's basically he he he's uh, he uh, is uh, um, basically trying to uh, uh, um, try and get a word. He, he he's basically trying to. Uh, um, well, not basically he is, he's, uh, uh, vilifying the name of the Lord, you know, because the elder from South Carolina, he did a, uh, he posted a lesson and how, uh, Deacon Asaph was saying is, uh, uh, that he was saying that you got to call upon, he was, he, he said, uh, some, uh, exclusive name, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, as if, as if the name was not important. Okay. But let's see. You know, uh, uh, but let's see uh, uh, what name holds more weight, Christ or Yahweh Bashima Shai, when times get hard out here, when shit is defend, when Jacob's trouble arises, you see? So that's why he says, no other name, you know, under heaven. Let's, let's read it again. Now, now is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men where Bobby must be saved, right? So so the, the only name that is important is Yahweh Bashima Shai. And that's why we give... The, the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh Shema Shai because because we believe in that name, you see, uh, Jesus Christ is not going to save you. Yahweh is not going to save you, you know. Uh, 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 um, Yeshua is not going to save you in, in in a time of trouble. Okay, that's why. That's why um, you know the uh, 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 this name is very powerful. Okay, the, uh, uh, this name is 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 a secret. You know. This name was a secret to a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, don't know about, you know, the the, the true names of Yahweh Bashima Shai. Okay, but the, but but we've been blessed, you know, and the Lord had mercy in us to get his name. And that's why we're gonna keep you know keep uh, calling upon him, having faith in it, you know, and you know, and keep enduring to the end. You see? 
So Lord is what this lesson was edifying to, you know, the Lord's sheep. And I just want to say, call them La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakradash, double honors being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a shock bound to you, Anki, out there that's pushing his truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakradash. That being said, Shalom.